This is a ramping up your English book review. If your English proficiency is nudging into the advanced level, you might be able to appreciate this high quality book from National Geographic. It's entitled World's Great Train Journeys. As the title suggests, readers will learn about passenger trains in countries outside of the United States. One chapter I especially enjoyed was the one about the train through Mexico's Copper Canyon. I should warn you though, reading this book might lengthen your bucket list. Reading is the most effective way to build vocabulary for intermediate language learners. Reading World's Great Train Journeys would be an exciting yet challenging experience for English learners. If nothing else, you'll enjoy the beautiful photographs. For Ramping Up Your English, I'm John Letts. Welcome back to Ramping Up Your English. Our goal is to help you elevate your level of English proficiency in a way that causes the least amount of stress. Our approach is to make English learning interesting and fun by using a thematic approach, and our first theme is trains and railroads. This is episode 31, segment 2. We're almost at the end of this unit. In earlier episodes, I had viewers do an informal self-assessment of their English comprehension skills, and today, we do it again. Now, if you've been with me since the beginning of this unit, you've used a notebook in which to do our language activities. And those are as posted on our website, letscreate.org. You've also recorded some self-assessments in the notebook, and it's time to open it to a new page for today's assignment. Now, the way this works is to watch a video clip and estimate the percent of the clip you understand. It's that simple. So if you feel you understand half of what you see and hear, then you would put 50% in your notebook, along with the date and the episode number, which is 31. If you understand more than half, but less than all, you might put 75%. Or if you understand almost everything, then you could put 90%. Now we'll want to do this with the next video clip. So now is the time to grab that notebook or any paper and a pencil and a pen, or a pen. And then we'll get to that video. We'll get it rolling for you soon. This is a Ramping Up Your English book review. After American Railroad's golden age, thousands of miles of track were abandoned. Rather than see these valuable transportation corridors disappear, an organization called Rails to Trails turns them into trails for bicycling, hiking, and sometimes horseback riding. Members get to see good work that's being done by enjoying the organization's magazine. Each issue features rail trails throughout the country, as well as maps that can help them enjoy them. There are always interesting features like this one on railroad trestles. If you want to receive the magazine, you must become a member. I bought my first copy from a group that supports libraries, but I soon became a member myself to support their important work. Millions of people are enjoying healthy lives by getting outside and using these trails. And if you need something to feel good about, you can always enjoy a Rails to Trails magazine. You can contact Rails to Trails at railstotrails.org. You may never get to drive a train, but you can enjoy hiking and biking where the trains used to pass. For Ramping Up Your English, I'm John Letts. Welcome back to Ramping Up Your English. We're doing a self-assessment today. Now what you'll need to record after watching the next video is what percent of the video did you understand? The video clip's coming up soon. Now there's a small community along the California coast called Fort Bragg. People come to Fort Bragg to ride the skunk. No, there are no giant, stinky mammals here. The skunk is the nickname of a tourist train that begins in Fort Bragg and goes inland through a second-growth redwood forest. Let's climb aboard for an unforgettable ride. The California Western Railroad was probably not overjoyed when people started calling its train the skunk, but today it's the bread and butter of this excursion railroad. 
chugga, 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 chugga up the hill. Puffin' and chugging, you know that engine will reach the summit and go down. Located in Fort Bragg, California, this powerful steam locomotive pulls passengers into the past. Look at the engine that's old 45. Fired up and ready, she seems to come alive. There really are engineers licensed to operate steam engines. They ride in the cab along with the firemen. They work together to give passengers a safe and memorable ride. While the age of steam ended many years ago, steam locomotives are alive and well all over the country on excursion railroads, including this one here at Fort Bragg. On this day, we see Boy Scouts on a double adventure, a train ride and summer camp. We're on our own adventure, handing our tickets to the conductor and climbing aboard. <laughs> Trackside, we see a water tower, an essential element to steam locomotives. You can't see beyond our train shed, but there used to be a big lumber mill out there, the Union Lumber Company. And we started that here in 1885, and we had a steamship line that transported all those pieces of lumber down to San Francisco where we sold it. Slowly, we eased forward and rolled out of town toward the second growth redwood forest that makes this train ride so special. The large windows provided a great view from the coach, but I was soon in the open car, right out there with the fresh air and the trees. It was this redwood forest that gave the railroad its birth, born to haul logs to build San Francisco back in the 1800s. The trees are growing back, making this train ride a visit to the redwood forest. During lunch, we could see how a steam locomotive works. The cam is moved by the steam-powered piston attached to the wheels to make them turn. We took on more water before the crew prepared to take us back to Fort Bragg. Passengers nodded off in the coach while people like me returned to the open car. This train had a special crew member, a train singer, Greg Schindel, who led us in a familiar train song. I've been working on the railroad one song long. Oh, yes. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. My father in law kept the camera rolling we return to Fort Bragg. Spot here. Things were nicer and they always 
Okay, we're about ready to get off, so I will talk. Oh, here's an old train that they're remodeling. This car we were passing would carry future passengers on this great Redwood Forest ride. We'd keep the memories of a day well spent.